Doctor Doom is back and he's brought with him a game featuring another Doctor and that Doctor is Dr. Mario for our NES. Let's go ahead and take Dr. Mario. Let's pop it in my NES and see how this game holds up today. Let's go to the game. Dr. Mario was published by Nintendo and was released in 1990. During the same year, it was also released for the Game Boy and in the arcades for the Play Choice 10 and VS form. Dr. Mario was developed by the original designer of the Game Boy, Gunpei Yokoi, as well as Takahiro Harada. The manual opens with the following, Hi everybody, I'm Mario, how's it going? Over the last few years, I've been involved in some pretty wild adventures. Now, believe it or not, I work in the virus research lab at the Mushroom Kingdom Hospital. Today, I'm about to begin my research as usual. Dr. Mario, something terrible has happened. What's wrong, Nurse Toadstool? One of the experiments has gone out of control. The viruses are spreading quickly. Oh no, we've got to do something. I have just developed a new vitamin that should be able to take care of it. I sure hope this stuff works. Vitamins, huh? In all this time, I thought Dr. Mario was pushing pills without a license. Dr. Mario is a puzzle game for one or two players. At the menu screen, you can select your speed, low, medium, or high, a starting virus level up to 20, and in a two-player game, you can handicap levels independently. You can also choose to turn off the background music or use one of two songs, Fever or Chill. For the controls, you move the vitamins with the D-pad, pressing down to go faster. B to rotate the vitamin to the left and A to rotate it to the right. Viruses come in three colors, red, blue, and yellow. Vitamins have two sections using combination of these three colors. When four or more of the same color make a horizontal or vertical row, they disappear, taking out any connected viruses with them. According to the manual, the speed of the vitamin drops increase slightly after every 10 vitamins per level. Clear out all the viruses and you move on to the next level. Overflow your bottle and your game is over. In a two-player game, you earn a crown if you clear all of your viruses first or if your opponent overflows their bottle. The first of three crowns win. If you manage to clear out multiple rows at the same time, you will send random pieces to your opponent's side. Scoring-wise, you get 100 points per destroyed virus on low speed, 200 on medium speed, and 300 on high. All those values double for each additional virus destroyed at the same time. The game also has an ending of sorts if you beat level 20, with each ending altered for each speed, although the game does continue on afterward. There's also cutscenes if you pass levels 5, 10, and 15 on medium or high speed. Graphically speaking, the game looks decent, although there really isn't much to it. The music in the game, which was done by Hirokazu Tanaka, is really great in my humble opinion, and you can't go wrong when choosing between the two songs, although an option to have them alternate would have been nice. Family friendly wise, the game has gotten an E for everyone rating when it was re-released. Currently at PriceCharting.com, the game has a value of $9 loose, $29 complete, and $265 new. So what did I think of Dr. Mario for the NES? This is not only my current favorite puzzle game for the NES, it's one of my favorite puzzle games, period. I may be in the minority, but I even like it better than Tetris. It's easy to pick up and play, the controls are tight, the music is catchy, and I even like the fact that they give you an ending of sort for passing level 20. I'm not the biggest fan of the puzzle genre, but even I consider Dr. Mario a must-have for any NES collection. So where am I going to rank Dr. Mario? This is going to my current top 5. I do like G.I. Joe more at 3, but even though I really like Mike Tyson's Punch-Out at 4, since it's a tad easier for me to pick up and play, I'm going to have to give Dr. Mario the edge. So out of the 67 games are now ranked for the NES, Dr. Mario is throwing vitamins at the 4 position. Dr. Mario may very well be the best puzzle game for the Nintendo Entertainment System. But that's just what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoy videos such as this one and want to support my work, please click like and subscribe, drop a comment below, and for mega supporters, either become a channel member or sign up at patreon.com slash gamer. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day and look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the Nosewear Gamer. Take care and take your vitamins.
Thank <laughs> you.